Rodney Neal answers back with his own three-pointer. So it's back to a six-point advantage. Neely already with nine points here in this first quarter. One minute to go in the opening period. Meyerhofer. Roger Yap. Fifth Brown wants the ball against Neely. Shot knocked down to 11. Fifth Brown sends it to Canaleta. Canaleta. Bullet pass. <laughs> a bullet pass for the backboard. And it's a turnover. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Parang pinball yun. Alam mo yung game na pinball. Parang pinball. <laughs> that was, bullet's a good word. Wow. I know Rico Meyerhofer is tall and athletic, but uh, I'm not sure who could have caught that one. Great pass. Bad aim. Now, Rita Aranya, pinasa kay Jervie Cruz. Just wide open off the kick, the drive and kick. You know, he does a lot of what Eddie Lowry does. Undersized four men who are really excellent medium range shooters who take those good open shots. Still a four-point lead, however, para sa B-Mick Derby Ace. Kirby gets the ball up against Rod Neely. Canaleta fires again and misses. And Gabe Norwood chases down the long rebound. Quick the ball, Gabe getting another rebound and wisely slowing it down to get the last shot for Raina Shine. Chance to cut into this four-point lead of b -Mick. Eight seconds to go. Six seconds to go. Norwood still has the ball. Four seconds to go. Neely, step back three. No, one second to go. And that ends the opening period. The B Mac Derby Ace uh, leading by four points. 28 24. It's on game one. The uh, PBA quarterfinals. And James Yap, the man with a million moves under incredible media scrutiny, under immense personal pressure. Hoping to discard all the distractions to lead b make to victory. One quarter down, three more quarters to go. Magsisimula na ang uh, second quarter. Mamaya naman, the Alaska Aces. Saan ba si Mike Cortez? Hindi na yun sa Alaska. Although dati siyang galing, galing siyang Alaska. Kaya kilala niya lahat yan. So it's Inebra versus Alaska later in the day. Simula ng ating second quarter, laban ng Raider Shine at B-Make Derby Ace Llamados, uh, Neely with a miss. And B-Make Derby Ace begins the second period with a four-point lead. Well, I think that's a better matchup for B-Make on Rod Neely. You know, Uncle Litney Meyerhofer, he's got quick feet, he's 6'6", he's long, and I think he's probably a better perimeter defender than Brown. Roger Yap shot the ball so well in the All-Filipino playoffs. And again, just a huge reason why the then Pure Foods team won that championship. I mean, try to try to picture this. You're Ryan Gregorio and you have Roger Yap, as Aranya will miss. Roger Yap and Nino Canaleta coming off the bench. Let's not forget, Nipa Pinasok si Jun Simon. He's a scorer as well, so you've got a lot of cards in your deck that you can pull out. Roger Yap to Brown. Brown, drop step. And gets the gentle roll, and now it's a nine-point lead for the b Derby Derbys. Fifth round and double figures with ten. Yeah, and, and if you're B-Mac, you got to be happy with the way you've been playing offensively. Maybe giving up a few more points than you initially like, but this team has been scoring a lot for a, a, a team that doesn't score a ton of points. Foul, laban kay Meyerhofer, kanyang unang personal foul. And this will send Rod Neely to the free throw line. Well, if you're Rod Neely, you've uh, accomplished part of your goal. And that is to uh, keep Rainer Shine in contention. So you survive two knockout games in the wild card round, and now you're here in the quarterfinals. Well, you gave your team a chance against Hanever to get the outright. And then, obviously, Hanever just recovered that again. That was just a huge win. But then you give your team a, another chance by winning two straight, as you said, in the wild card. You've done your job thus far. But now you have another job to do to try to get out. <laughs> and, and what a task. It's a replay of last conference. Same situation for both of these teams. B Meg waiting in the third spot. Rainer Shine coming out of the wild card. Here's Brown. And now Rafi Rivas. That's Roger Yap's specialty of the house. He's a very pesky defender, especially in the backcourt. Yeah, just a, a crafty, a crafty KG Wiley veteran is Roger Yap. 
Araña. Araña steps on the brakes. Here's Mercado. Shot clock down to six. Jervy with a fake, and he gets a bump coming from Cliff Brown. That will only be Cliff Brown's first foul in this game, so foul pro trouble, not a problem. First personal against uh, the import of uh, the Yamados. Still a nine-point lead for the Bimek. Here's Neely again. Aranya. Oh, he caught the basket. You know. Aranya is really dangerous off the dribble. He's usually not going to beat you by hitting four or five three-point shots in a game. He's not that kind of two-guard, but he has the ability to attack, and he attacks in a straight line. Look at him split the defense there, and he's got a physically strong body able to finish in spite of contact. Yeah, he is so crafty, he could score with an extra step. Grab him more. Brown. Roger Yap. Jerby Cruz clears the rebound. And a good quick outlet there. See, that's exactly what Rainer Shine wants to do. They get a rebound, and if you have guys like Norwood, Mercado, and Aranya in particular, get the ball out and try to run, run, run so you can get some easy points. Because you're in the half court, you're going to have a lot harder time scoring. And send you back to Patricia. Hey, Mix, you know Saul took a quick nap in the locker room earlier. He says he's not exactly feeling well. But he seemed a little feverish to me, but I'm no doctor. But he was telling me that he vows to shake it off because he knows that he's a leader in this team. If he plays well, the team finds a lot of success. So he wants to go out hard tonight. Now, Coach Kawhi was telling me, usually Saul Mercado struggles in the first half of the game, but you can always count on him come winning time. Alex, Nico? Well, you certainly saw that in the fourth quarter last Wednesday. <laughs> Unfortunately, I did, yes. <laughs> he saw it first half. He had, he had 13 points. He hit three three-pointers in the fourth quarter alone, which uh, I definitely didn't want to happen last Wednesday. <laughs> but, you know, that, that's a sign of a competitor, you know. And, and then that's a sign of the coach also giving confidence to his players. He, he knows the guy struggles a bit in the first half. He needs to be in I know you how you how you play and things come out. So Coach Galoya, obviously a smart coach, knows his players kind of stuff. See, that's what I tell my coaches all the time. Wait for the fourth quarter of the year. <laughs> I'll, I'll get to that. Don't worry. My game will pick up. Rod Neely. Yeah, my Hoffer has been a tough customer. But I Rod Neely. Here's Aranya. Ray back now part of this game. Six to shoot, shot clock winding down. Mercado still has the ball, shot clock down to three. And Jervy Cruz will miss. Rod oh, Neely with the rebound. Oh, lots of, con lots of contact under the basket. Great offensive rebound right there by Rod right Neely. Just taking the ball away from Roger Yap. And you can't really fault Roger. The import just out jumped him on that one and took the ball from him. It's a really nice defensive possession by B Meg. You know, one of the things that, but prior to the foul, You've got Rafi Rivas at 6'9 with long arms, who moves laterally well. Rico Meyerhofer, 6'6, long arms, moves laterally well. Right now, their two guard is 6'6, their shooting guard. <laughs> Where else in the country can you find a 6'6 shooting guard but on BMAG <laughs> with KG Canaleta? And you have Roger Epp is one of the yeah. toughest and, uh, and sturdiest. And yeah, yeah. Tall, Point guards in strong, the and athletic. Roger yeah. Yap at 6'2. I believe that this unit, the second unit of Raikagoru, gives teams the most problems. Yeah, they're, they're hard to read, you know. I mean, Meyerhofer is so active on the backboard. Rafi Reeves is the same at 6'9". Roger, when he's shooting the ball, is very difficult to guard. Great to get into the basket and finish. And KG stretches the defense from the three. I really think this BMAC team is one of the most talented in the PBA. Easily in the top three. Here's Brown. You can see the... It's basically four big men and a big point guard. And nobody moves slow. Exactly. Neely fires. No go. Servi Cruz could not get the rebound. And he's Roger Yap. Brown against Rayback. Brown. Blocked by Rayback. And Aranya has the basketball. Aranya on the move. And a good decision on the to slow it down. Yep. 